Getting Things Done Nation, it finally, finally happened. Apple has finally entered the ring and holy smoke, folks, we are in for some incredible times in the XR space. I don't wanna waste any more of your time. Let's get into it right now. Yo, 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 it's your boy Jay Dunn and welcome to Getting Things Done where we motivate you, motivate you to get things done through faith and relevant technology. I have been waiting for this day for years, count them, years been waiting for Apple to enter into the X our space it's been touted since ar kit came out years ago that this was an area that they really wanted to get into and i'm so so excited to finally see it come to fruition and boy did it come listen we're gonna go all over these details let's get into the specs right now so let's talk about the specs of the vision pro first up is the modular strap system i was really really impressed in how they built this entire head strap around comfortability and modularization which means you're going to be able to customize exactly how you want this thing to look as well as how you want it to feel what's even cooler is they're working with zias to make sure that you can have camera lens inserts that are proper for your eyes this is the first time i've seen a headset manufacturer actually ship with this in mind that's just insane up next of course is us thinking about how this thing sound and feel and the vibe right this thing has personalized sounds that deliver spatial audio through ambient spatial audio which is the first of its kind with audio ray tracing it allows the whole room around you to really feel like you're truly engaged in the environment i think this thing is taking a lot of cues once again from airpods which i believe is a whole theme about this because all all these technologies you've been building for years are now coming all together in this headset and if that's not enough we got to talk about these displays this display is micro oled screens combined for the vision pro it has over 23 million pixels more pixels than a 4k tv per eye that is insane for a standalone xr vr headset and when it comes to the details of this thing this thing is packed to the the brim with technology it has over 12 cameras five sensors and six microphones that's also including the lidar scanners ir illuminators main cameras for bringing in that pass-through data as well as high performance eye tracking and for the computing power it uses a computer level m2 processor as long as an all new r1 processor that allows us to process all those cameras all those sensors all those microphones to give you a mind blowing experience and if that's not enough to blow your mind then there's eyesight and this really blew my mind it allows those outside the headset to see you and see that you're either immersed or able to actually view them as well and it shows a 3d representation of your eyes they built a whole 3d display in the front of this thing just to keep it none weird it's just incredible these specs are some of the best i've ever seen in a standalone xr device and i'm I'm super super excited about getting my hands on this thing the other side of the story is all about these tech demos that they showed of what this device could be used for this is gonna go down for me as one of the coolest tech demos i've ever seen in an apple keynote apple brought out disney on stage and they begin to show why they're a hundred years into innovation Disney has so many different IPs and so many ways to pull at your heartstring and now being able to have a device like the Vision Pro to really realize and be inside of these environments in a whole new way like even bringing Disney into your home like that's just insane and yes the kid in me is literally screaming to be an Avenger I'm super super excited about how augmented reality is about to be a normal part of our lives these demos that they showed were just so crisp and even if they they were just proof of concepts i know for a fact that apple is definitely going to bring the heat when this thing comes out later next year after learning about the specs seeing these demos my mind is just all over the place i i wish the device was literally in my hands right now tim cook if you're watching hit up your boy i'm just saying 
You guys might see the excitement in my voice. It's not even just about Apple entering this space. It's really about XR and VR finally taking that next step that even Andrew Bosworth from Meta talked about a lot, which is VR 2.0, the next generation of the spatial computing platform. It's finally about to happen. It's finally legitimized. It's finally about to get in the hands of regular people. And when that technology hits regular people, it begins to do extraordinary things. Me and my wife have a podcast called Get Them to the Metaverse. Unshameless plug here. But the whole mission of the podcast is to help to make the extraordinary metaverse an ordinary part of life. And Apple, for sure, with this all new device, is definitely making that happen. So, this was just my quick first impressions of the all new XR device. And I'm super overwhelmed with joy and excited for the XR industry because this is literally the day we've all been waiting for to finally see Apple into the ring. Now we can see all sorts of new competition and also innovation from all the big players in the space like Meta and Google is sneaking up as well with Samsung. I'm really, really excited about what's about to come down the pipeline. You know what else you should be excited for down the pipeline? This channel. So why don't you subscribe? Why don't you hit the thumbs up? Why don't you comment below? Let me know how much you enjoyed this content and hitting that bell notification so you can know the next time a video comes because I promise you, we got a lot more content coming real soon. It's your boy Jay Dunn and I'll see you next time. Peace.